I'm already God, sinners and saints. Why should you not vote Democrat? I'm going to tell you, you listen to me. Come on now, you liberals and you you, you on the walls and you Democrat, please listen to me because you wanted me to make this video, so I'm going to tell you. The Democrats and the Republicans, neither party are what they used to be. There was a time when there was unity in America and you could go to the family reunion and someone could be a Democrat, somebody could be a Republican, and you could still eat fried chicken. But you listen to me. I'm not, I'm just a dumb truck driver, but I got a lot of years of experience in law enforcement and being out in society, and I'm just going to tell you youngins, maybe you youngins need to hear this, some of you old folks need to listen to. I want you to be educated. I'm not going to sit here and be like, you need to vote for Donald Trump, you need to vote. You make your choice, but when you do, Look at the economic policy. That's what I'm really hanging my hat on. I could care less about Kamala Harris's personal life or her intelligent level or anything else. You have to look at evidence. When I was a cop, you look at evidence and you go, yeah, that looks like somebody's guilty. In 2008-9, Obama said he was going to change America. And I was a cop. And he started with our criminal justice system to take the power away from law enforcement. And there's there's bad cops out there. There are a lot of cops who should, should be in prison. I'm not I'm not defending that. But when our criminal justice, I watched attorneys and judges become fearful of the government because the government started taking power away from the judicial system. The executive branch of our government began to take power from the legislation and started putting us on a trajectory of socialism and communism. And you youngins, I, listen, you do what you want to do, but you please, if you never do anything for me, I want you to research that economic policy. And I want you to see what a 28% corporate tax will do. Please be educated voters. And for people saying, I'm not going to vote, you need to vote. Vote, 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 vote. Vote. Be educated when you vote. Don't just go in the booth like a bunch of dumb college kids. Well, that looks good. I'm a Democrat. D, 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 D. I'm a Republican. D, R, 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 R. We're in trouble right now. As a nation, we're at uh, $39 billion, trillion dollars in debt. That That's crippling us. We're going to lose our country eventually. We, we, we are. There's going to be a war. So I'm telling you right now, this could be the election that probably pushes that war off, but eventually we are going to have a war, whether it be a civil war or a world war, because we have spent way too much money and been way too greedy too long. Here's some thoughts. Kamala has never built anything. Joe Biden has never built anything. Nancy Pelosi has never built anything. Her husband was a millionaire. Obama's had never built anything. These are career loan politicians that never, ever came out here to be with us working people. I'm dead serious, folks. You may love them. You may think that Obama is, 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 is the Democratic Jesus, but you need to listen to me. Trump Personally, his personal app, personal business and whatever is not much better, but Trump's policies made sense. And you youngins don't know nothing because you may not have owned a house, you may not have had a child yet. There there was there was just some things. Did I make as much money personally and in my income tax under Trump? No. No. But over time it was better for the government because inflation was down, taxes was down gas prices were down. So I was willing to pay more taxes initially and not have all the credits. Socialism, communism is where the government makes it easy for you. They just keep on spending until there's no bread on the shelves. That's the problem. People don't vote because they're smart or intelligent. They just say, joy, joy. Camelot! Ah! Well, there's going to be no joy when there's no bread. 
there's going to be no joy when you're paying capital gains on your yearly increased value on your home you haven't even sold yet. There's not going to be no joy when the corporate tax goes to 28% and employees start getting laid off and inflation goes through the roof and finally our com economy which the values already been the do dollars already been devalued in most countries and we're in trouble so I made this video to tell you Kamala Obama Biden and all these people if you look at the evidence of their social policy their legal policy and their economic policy it is Karl Marxism Obama's daddy was a Marxist Kamala's daddy was a Marxist communist communism has never ever 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 worked out in any society ask Russia ask Venezuela Communists come in the form of joy, 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 joy. You look at Karl Marx. What did they do to bring communism overseas and in Europe and stuff? They were bringing all these little kids around um, Karl Marx. They were taking pictures. Oh, the joy, the joy, the joy. You know, and, and all these communist leaders, they would always have propaganda of joy. That's what they're doing at the DNC. Oh, joy! Why they got the abortion wagon outside. I, I, I'm not, whatever about abortion, whatever you feel, I'm not getting into that, but I'm telling you, it is the economic policy on top of our national debt that is going to bring us to war. So whether Trump or anybody else gets in there, we're still going to lose our country. There's going to have to be a revolution because historically, you hear me, nations rise, nations fall. Nations have never risen. There is no, nothing. That has lasted forever on this earth. So, let's put aside the joy, put aside the Christian nationalism, put aside all politics. Do you want to be taking care of a government that will spend you into poverty where you're going to lose your way of life? If you do, vote for the Democrats. Do you want to have a slight chance of maybe a few more years of good prosperity before the bombs are dropped and we go to war? You better vote for Trump. Do the research yourself. There's your video.